in Danger by Bill O'Brien. We're going to look at it specifically to help identify strategies that writers use to try and persuade us. So to start with, I want you to turn to page, well, the author's note at the end. It's about in the middle because this is a double takes book. When you're reading, I want you to think about what was the author's intent when they wrote this, when he wrote this book. What was his intent when he wrote this book? Go ahead and read. Talk to your nearby neighbor about what you think the author's intent was. Mm, that's a good connection to science and habitat. Okay. Excellent. I heard a lot of people talking about the author wants to try and save endangered animals. Okay. Well, what should he do to make this happen? Jenna? Make posters around hydro. Okay. Why would he do that? What's his, what would be his purpose then, Monica? It would be to get the word out to lots of different people to make sure that they know this is happening, that like tigers and whales are going to be in, they're in danger now. People in the future that are coming soon aren't going to be able to see them. Okay, so does he just want to inform people, Matt? He wants them to learn and like information, information, so uh, they could you know, like keep on learning like in the future more about them and mm -hmm. like so other kids um, who um, want to see them can see them. Good. So he wants to persuade people or he needs to persuade people. Well, what strategies do writers use to try and persuade us? What's one strategy, Monica? Grabbing on their heart. Right on. And can I just draw a heart? And we'll remember that's yeah. what that is. Okay, Danielle, what else? Using time, like he did there, you know, like, um, they won't be there for the next generation if we keep doing what we're doing. All right, so time's running out. All right, what else, Matt? Numbers, it's like, um, like, this how many years they might become extinct, so it's like, you have a... You have to like do it now. You can't wait or they'll come extinct. So the numbers could support that time that's only like good. Excellent. Um, Sarah, haven't heard uh, from you. Research because you need to have real facts and everything because it won't make it a non fiction book. All right. Be awesome. It has to be real facts. Okay, anything else? Any other strategies, Jordan? Yes. Um there's like Connecting to movies and big and um, like for example. Um, oh, you're thinking of our mentor text that we used. Really? Yeah, they connected and, to a movie yeah. that we've seen. And um, dolphins. Good thinking. And um, the big name, like a big name, like Mahatma Gandhi, because and Oops. or Martha Martha. Lu Martin Luther King? Yes. Big names. Good point, because we'd, we'd trust their thinking. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, so let's keep those strategies in mind that, that writers use. And I want you to turn to page 12 and 13. And I'm going to ask you to read that spread. And in your guided reading notepad, jot down examples 
of the author using any of these strategies to try and persuade you. Just jot down the key words that showed that that was a strategy they were using. Go ahead. Is that making you feel, Jenna? It's making me feel like sad because all of these animals and plants are coming, becoming endangered. So that is that persuading you that this is a big problem? Oh yeah. Okay. What have you noticed? Strategy that, that, that the author used. Excellent. Yeah. In the whole we're talking about um, this one, why you should keep mm -hmm. the animals in captivity. Well, when it says um, all over the world, people have.